Welcome to Tech Insights, where we show you how to make your workspace work. On today's episode, we are going to look at managing Chrome OS devices through Citrix Endpoint Management. The first thing the user is going to do after powering on the device will be to connect it to a Wi-Fi network. After connecting it to a Wi-Fi network, the user will accept the terms and conditions. The device will then check for updates, and from there, the user will have to trigger an enterprise enrollment. The user will enter in their G Suite username and password. This will trigger the enrollment. Once the enrollment is successful, the user will once again log in with their G Suite username and password. At this point, the user will go ahead, accept, and continue logging into the device. They'll go ahead, locate the Chrome browser, and launch it. In the upper right hand corner, there will be a Secure Hub icon. Click on that and select Enroll. From here, you'll enter in your server FQDN and click Next. Now, enter in your username and password. This will be your domain, UPN, and associated password. Upon clicking Sign In, you'll begin the enrollment into Citrix Endpoint Management. When prompted, enter your Citrix PIN. This PIN will be used to authenticate the user in the future. Click Finish and you will be successfully enrolled. The user can now go ahead and close the Chrome browser. As we can see, the Workspace app and Slack have both been installed on the device. Upon launching the Workspace app, we're going to go ahead and enter in our Workspace URL. This will now prompt us for our workspace, username, and password. We are now logging into our workspace. As you can see, I have a number of applications available as well as some desktops available and access to my Citrix files. Now let's take a look at what we've just seen conceptually. The user on the Chromebook logged in with their G Suite credentials and enrolled into the G Suite domain. This then allowed them to access Secure Hub through the Chrome browser and enroll in the Endpoint Management Service. Their credentials were verified via the Cloud Connector and Windows Active Directory. The Workspace app was pushed to the device and now the user has access to the Workspace service. Now let's see what an admin must do to properly set up Chrome Management. First, let's log in to the Google Admin Console. Once logged in, go to Device Management and select Chrome Devices. Here, we want to verify that we have licensings. If we do not, we can select a trial and go ahead and accept the terms. Once we've accepted the terms, we now can manage Chrome Devices. Now, let's navigate back to Devices and select Chrome Management. From here, Select User Settings, scroll all the way to the bottom, and enable Chrome Management Partner Access, and click Save. Now we'll go back to the Chrome Management Settings and find Device Settings. Scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page and enable Chrome Management Partner Access and click Save. Now we'll head over to the Google Admin menu, select Security, Advanced Settings, Manage API Client Settings. Here, you'll notice that we have to get some information from the Citrix Endpoint Management in the Citrix Cloud. So we're going to log in, select Settings, and go to Google Chrome. Here, we'll find a Google Suite Client ID that we will copy. And now we will return to the Manage API Client Access page and paste the copied value into the Client Name field. From there, we will go to the Citrix Docs site, copy the URL that we paste into the one or more API scopes, and click Authorize. From the Google Admin menu, we're going to select on Devices and Chrome Management. From the Chrome Management window, we're going to select User Settings, and we're going to scroll down to the Client Certificates, and we were going to paste the value we got from the Citrix Docs site and click Save. We are now going to find the Force Installed Apps and Extensions and click on the Manage Force 
Installed Apps. Select Specify Custom App and paste in the ID from the Citrix Docs and the URL from the Citrix Docs. Click Add, then Save. Then save your user settings. Now navigating back to the Citrix Endpoint Management, enter in your G Suite domain and your admin account information. We'll go ahead and select Connect, which will trigger OAuth to the G Suite domain. Once the credentials are verified, we will see the Connect turn to Disconnect, and we can close the window. From here, we're going to go to the Configure tab, and we're going to add a device policy. We're going to filter device policies by Chrome OS, and we're going to select an Application Restrictions policy. Here, we'll go ahead and name the policy, clear all, and select Chrome OS. We're going to click on Add a Chrome App, and we're going to add the Citrix Workspace App. We are going to need the application ID, so we're going to open up a new tab in Google Chrome and search for the Citrix Workspace App for Chrome. This will provide us a link to the application inside the Chrome Web Store. In the address bar, we'll notice the application ID We'll go ahead, highlight this, copy it, and then prepare to paste it into the App ID field in Citrix Endpoint Management. We'll make sure that we set this to be allowed. We're going to install it, and we're going to pin it to our system bar. Let's add a second app. Here, we searched for Slack for Chrome, and we'll see that we find in the URL an application ID. We will highlight it, copy it, and then head back over to the Citrix Endpoint Management. Here, we'll go ahead and name the application and paste in the application ID. We'll make this allowed. We'll go ahead and set it for installed, and we will pin it to our system bar. We'll go ahead and click on Next, assign it to a delivery group, and click Save. We have now configured Chrome Device Management through Citrix Endpoint Management and pushed out the Citrix Workspace app.